Hey guys, what's up? Today we have a really, really cool person. Um, it's uh, a cosplayer. Uh, I'm sure you've seen her everywhere. You've seen her in, 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 on social media. You've seen her on, uh, on our videos, on our posts. We love using, uh, using her images using, and, and showcasing what she has for us. Uh, Danny, Yela, Danny, how are you today? I am great, thank you. <laughs> how are good. you? Good. I'm really good. Thank you for asking. I think um, I haven't really seen a lot of people in the last uh, couple of weeks like everybody else. So it's always good to see some, a different face <laughs> and have a bit of conversation with people, man. So talk to us, man. Tell us, tell us more about yourself. People don't, uh, for the people that don't know you, tell us more about who you are, what you do. So I'm currently a student. I'm in my honors year of university, but most of my time is taken up by cosplay stuff. Um, I've been cosplaying for five years now. Yeah. And maybe building armor for about three or four years, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, you've, if you haven't seen me, that's okay. But if you have seen me, you'll probably have seen me as Wonder Woman at Comic Con. Um, yeah, I'm a massive geek. I enjoy gaming. I love comics. I love movies. The whole shebang. Um, awesome, awesome. I love the fact that you are all rounder as well. It's not just specifically cosplay. It's not just specifically Wonder Woman. Um, I love the. Uh, in fact, I love the fact that you're a gamer as well. I think a lot of people don't don't link. Um, Cosplayers to gaming at the same in the same sense. Yeah, it's, they, they it's, a, it's a pretty, it's a good all round aspect. So tell us a bit more about how it all started. Why five years ago? Why cosplay? And uh, specifically, why Wonder Woman at the same time? Ooh, okay. So I started cosplaying, like I said, five years ago because yep. six years ago um, I was at the Rage Expo and I saw a whole bunch of co cosplayers walking around and yeah. I've always loved dressing up like okay. since I was little there's just photos of me dressed up constantly <laughs> and I was like wow that looks like something I could do but at the same time I was super 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 shy so I probably wouldn't be able to do an interview like this at all okay. um, no. <laughs> I saw all these cosplayers interacting with different people at conventions and I was like wow they seem like really really confident so mm. that was something that I kind of wanted for myself so I thought maybe if I dressed up it would kind of give me some level of confidence because yeah. I'm not myself, I'm another character. Mm. So I decided to actually start my cosplay journey as Korra from <laughs> The Legend of Korra Avatar. Oh, um, wow. <laughs> a long way from like these things. Yeah, but, <laughs> I was just about to say, it's, you've come a long way. Yeah, so I started dressing up mm. and that kind of forced me to interact with people and I found that there was something that was so cool about dressing up as someone's favorite character and seeing that, that excitement as you enter their world as that character. And it kind of just got a little bit addicting, I would say. Yeah. And so I started getting every year I would improve, I'd improve. And then the Wonder Woman movie came out and I absolutely fell in love with it. It's, it's an amazing DC movie. Um, I think they yeah. have one of the few people did get right. But... <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I looked at the armor and I thought that's I liked what Wonder Woman stood for in general I've been a Wonder Woman fan but yeah. that movie kind of brought out something that I didn't consider before it was something that really inspired me so I was like let me just start let me see if I can put something together if I can become Wonder Woman and at the same time I actually got a ton of my friends saying wow you could you could totally do Wonder Woman you kind of look like Gal Gadot I still don't see it <laughs> it's probably the <laughs> Um, so I decided to start making it and that was my first Wonder Woman cosplay I made. I have two versions. This is the most recent version. I don't like talking about this one because it isn't as great. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of cosplayers are like that. They never want to refer back to, to where it all started and what, what it looked like before. But it's a pretty cool journey I, at the same time. So yeah, I've been Wonder Woman ever since and I just keep improving on it. and. It, it's okay. it's nice because you get a whole range of people and you get adults, you get kids, mm. you get teenagers, and everyone is just equally excited. And I like to be that like catalyst in, I don't know, like making people's day if that's something that makes their day. So I find it quite rewarding. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. And I think, um, I mean, I, I think most people love the fact that you put so much detail into your work as well. I think uh, uh, cosplay is about detail. I mean, some people obviously refer to prefer to um, 
use less detail, but I mean, like, I, I love the fact that there's so much detail in, in what you do. So, um, so, you know, there's a lot of cosplayers that either get their inspiration from somewhere or something or get other external people to help them or assist them in their cosplay. Do you prefer to work alone or do you prefer to work with others? I actually have never worked with others. I've only ever worked yeah. with them. So I don't think there's anything wrong with working with other people at all. I think just personally, in both cosplay stuff and my everyday life, I, I'm kind of like a solo person when it comes to building things or making things. Um, so I like to rely on myself and I find that I can, as much as I'm learning from other people that I see online and that I talk to, yeah. I like to build my skill up by myself as well. But in future, I think I do have a few collaborative things planned, so we'll see how nice. that changes. That's awesome. That's awesome. I think uh, changing it up a little bit always always brings out something different and something new. Um, what is like you like you say you've done uh, uh, Wonder Woman and a few others before? What has been your most expensive cosplay? My most expensive cosplay. So surprisingly, all of my cosplays have been relatively cheap, which okay. is because I'm a student. <laughs> I level off a student budget. Yeah. But I would say maybe maybe my Wonder Woman has been yeah. no <laughs> Cassandra, Cassandra from Assassin's Creed Odyssey, the, the first one I did the mercenary armor. That was maybe yes. the most expensive. Purely okay. because I had to buy a bunch of fake leather and that is very pricey. Yeah. But all of them they're much cheaper than I think most people's cosplays end up rounding up to be. Yeah. So I'm and happy. I think a lot of people have heard some crazy figures. I think when I spoke to um, to uh, Fred Wolf, uh, uh, Freddie oh. Lamont the other day, he was like twenty thousand man and thirty thousand man. So it's pretty pretty crazy. Man. I mean, it is an investment. It is an investment that you're yeah. putting into as well. So if you could cosplay right, anywhere in the world, anywhere. tomorrow we could fly to uh, uh, anywhere in the world to cosplay. Where would that be? Sure. I think I think I'd love to go to any of the American conventions. I think mm -hmm. America holds a certain standard of cosplay. Like we we're meeting that standard in terms of creating costumes, but in terms yeah. of the entire atmosphere and how many people are involved, yeah. because like our industry is still growing and it's growing at like an exponential rate. Mm -hmm. But I think America has just it has so many wow factors, and I have so many friends that live in America that cosplay that I would absolutely love to meet up with them. So yeah. I think, um, I'm trying to think of a specific convention, but I can't think of one right now. That's cool. Much, That's if cool. you're flying after America, I'd be more than happy. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it's a goal of all of us. Um, but uh, I think the, the cultures, uh, obviously they have a few years uh, ahead of us in terms of cosplay. Yeah. They, have, they have a bit of, and they have a bigger culture in, in, in the States. Uh, we are getting there and I think cosplay specifically is growing really fast. I think just because people see the, the need to to, uh, to dress up and obviously conventions are still new in South Africa in general. So I think that will, that will obviously improve. Um, so tell us more. We obviously, we were really interviewed and we're really excited about the news that, you, that you've recently broken um, to, to your followers and stuff. So tell us more. We, we, we want to know. So Ubisoft actually... Um, hit me up about a month ago and said, hey, we have a cosplay spotlight that we want to put on the community because of this whole COVID pandemic and we see how it's affecting cosplayers and content and the like and how they don't have the ability to show off their work. Um, and they yeah. said they specifically want to highlight cosplayers from their export communities um, and countries like South Africa, India, Greece, that kind of thing. Um, because our cosplayers don't get enough recognition for what we do, plain and simple. True. So you be yeah. that need. And they contacted me and they said that they wanted to interview me. Um, this is actually the second time I've worked with Ubisoft. I represented Cassandra with them and for them for the 2018 release of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, yeah. which was very exciting. So to get a call back from Ubisoft as a massive Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed like geek, it was it was mm. an amazing opportunity. So they sent me over some questions and I answered them and they've recently put together a video that I've released and that they've re released over at the Ubisoft X account. Yeah. And for all of us in South Africa, it's actually 
also on the Ubisoft main Facebook page. Um, so if anyone's interested yeah. in checking that out. So it's pretty awesome. So what we'll do is we'll obviously put the, um, the links in the comments below so everybody can have a look at that. Um, and obviously we'll also have links to uh, Daniela's profile so you can start following her, get in, get in touch with her and um, obviously just show us some love. Daniela, more questions for you. More questions. More questions. Okay, I'm ready. First of all, um, outside, of, outside of cosplay, outside of um, pop culture sphere in general, right? <laughs> what else have you found yourself doing during the lockdown period or, or recent hobbies that you've maybe just uh, fit, stumbled upon? Ooh, it's the thing is they all fit within the pop culture <laughs> thing. I'm, but it's, so it's, it's, I've literally spent my days doing university work, um, yeah. working on the thing, uh, Spartan War here. And what else have I been doing? <laughs> Just, I've been catching up on a lot of movies and series as well. It's, yeah, my stuff mainly falls within geek culture and YouTube and all of that. It's, it's all avenues that I enjoy. And yeah, but lockdown seriously, limited stuff. I'd love to be out there doing photo shoots and stuff because that's something yeah. I really want to get to hone in on, firstly, my own photography and also being in front of a camera. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Awesome. So the answer I was looking for was, uh, oh, you were baking bread or you were busy in the garden. That's what I was looking for. Cause I think, uh, on social media, that's all you see trending is people baking now. People that have never baked before are suddenly baking or cooking for their wives, like the husbands should be doing. And, um, obviously gardening, like nobody has ever done gardening before. <laughs> So I, I haven't done any of those. I'm, I'm probably like the only person in the whole world that hasn't baked bread for <laughs> quarantine. I think I'm the only person. But I, I have been getting a tan if that counts. <laughs> other than that, I've, no, none of the cliche lockdown pandemic things, I haven't done any of it somehow. Awesome. Well, I guess uh, your university studies have obviously changed that a little bit. Um, yeah. One more question, right? You, when, you, when you're in cosplay, um, how, how far you, are you willing to go in, in terms of the character itself? At the end of the day, I mean, are you, are you you or are you the character when you're in cosplay? That's a good question. I think, I think most of the time I, I struggle with the play part of cosplay. Yeah. I, I, I nailed the whole part, but... Um, mm. I think pe it, seeing people get so excited around me kind of gets me so excited to see them excited. So That's true. if I'm more, more serious character like Cassandra or even Wonder Woman, I, I tend to break character a lot. But yeah. when it comes to children, I don't break character. Okay. I, I stay with the children. But adults, I find it a lot harder. But for for competitions and for videos and stuff, I will stay dead on in character. So, okay. All right. Yeah. Have you ever have you ever cosplayed um, outside of convention space? So I'm talking like movie premieres or uh, charity visits, maybe just a random walk in um, in a shopping mall or something. Have you ever done it outside of a uh, convention? I've done it a few times. I've I've been a cosplay like model kind of thing for like MSI events and other events that they need someone to take pictures with. As for premieres, I've dressed up for the Star Wars premiere before, and mm -hmm. I'm, hoping, I'm hoping if they release Wonder Woman 84, I'll be able to pitch up at a premiere in this. Um, awesome. It will have to be, everything's on hold right now. But yeah, I've done, I've done birthday parties. <laughs> so if you need a Wonder Woman cosplay for a birthday party, just hire me. <laughs> you um, know, you know who to get into contact with now. You want an authentic Wonder Woman. Yeah. <laughs> so I've done, I've done birthday parties. I've done corporate events. I've done, I guess, movie premieres. And I'm actually looking into getting into charity visits. I think a lot of cosplayers now are trying to form a group where we can go visit kids' hospitals and outreaches like that to just help the kids a little bit. So I'm very keen on doing stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Especially, you know, I think uh, it might be a bit tougher while you're a student, but uh, the, the fact that you, well, I think specifically kids 
um, they always love like the fact that because I mean they're looking at you not as Daniela, they're looking at you as one of them or whoever you are cosplaying at the time. Um, one last question, one last question, right? Um, we, obviously, you you mentioned to us that you um, that you're a student, right? How do you yeah. save money? How do you save? How does one save money for cosplay? How where do you buy cosplay stuff? How do you find these these things? Or do you just use like random stuff that you get at home? Do you use like a leftover T-shirt, for example, or like uh, somebody somebody's old jeans? How do you how, how do you get stuff for this, and how do you save up for it? So I would say that charity shops and secondhand shops are your best friend. Like you can okay. find. If you need shoes to cut up, which I've done like 500 times by now, charity shops. If you need, I found sometimes if you can't afford or you can't get a hold of EVA foam, which is what these are made out of, mm. it's the same for as a yoga mat. So if you go to a secondhand shop and you find a yoga mat there, you're sorted. You'll have some foam. So I would mm. say I save money by using things that I either have at home yeah. or I go out to charity shops or I ask around and see if anyone has anything. But a lot of it is, is pretty much DIY. A lot of my stuff isn't just like freshly bought and then turned into cosplay. It's more like dismantled, destroyed, mm. um, and just turned in. I think, if I'm not mistaken, my Wonder Woman, this might have cost about, I think like 400 rand to make. Wow. Which is still 400 rand, but it's not. That is it's absolutely not, crazy. Yeah, it's it's all using the resource that you have and trying to find things on sale. Check up on your local um, fabric shops and see when they're having sales. See if they have any like off cuts. It's it's just all about being resourceful because mm. I know a lot of people don't have the money to start cosplay when they want to get into the whole cosplay scene. But yeah. the reality is you don't have to be a professional and you don't need to have a lot of money to start cosplay as long as you're budgeting and you're thinking how you can be thrifty, you're absolutely bored. Well, I mean, if you're saying that uh, that costume costs you that little money, well, in the greater scheme of things, it's, it's a little com compared to what other people are spending. But I mean, anybody can then get their hands on something like that or, or get creative and make something like that as well. Mm. Well, Danny, thank you so much for, uh, for your time and obviously for giving us such cool insight. I mean, I think a lot of people uh, put uh, a lot of emphasis on cosplay when they think of oh, so much effort, so much time, so much money. And I think the fact that you've given us such a bit, a bit more of a cheats, cheats into, <laughs> into the industry and how to, how to make it cost effective. I think that's helping everybody. And thank you so much for giving us your time. Such a pleasure. Thanks for interviewing me. <laughs> cool. Last, lastly, before we go, uh, tell us where we can find you, where we can follow you. Um, how, how can we, how can we get uh, on, on, on to following your journey? on social okay so i would say instagram is where i'm most active i don't really have anything on facebook so mm -hmm. you guys will put my socials in but psychedelo um it's okay. very hard to say <laughs> <laughs> on instagram is where i share my cosplay stuff so that's finished cosplays photo shoots progress normal everyday life stuff it's it's basically just a page that hopefully people from different walks of life can pick up something from awesome yeah it's well, i like the fact that it's so authentic also it's not just it's not just about your cosplay it's about your life it's about everything else that you go through your studies uh everyday life as well so thank you so much for joining us um guys you'll know where to follow you know where to find danny you know where to find her um she's giving us the links and then we'll obviously drop the links in in the comments below for um all the ubisoft stuff as well so uh thank you so much danny and uh, we'll chat to you soon um, hopefully some, some new news uh, in 2021 with uh, Wonder Woman 84 as well. Mm, yeah, thank you so much again. It's awesome. been great. <laughs> Cheers, Danny. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.